everyone, I'm Rachel and today on Crack Your Bible we are going to be talking about flood stories from other cultures. Now in the book of Romans it says that God has made himself known to all people through his creation so that nobody has an excuse. You will see that in other cultures they have similar stories to ones that you'll find in the Bible even though they are completely unconnected cultures. Now my family lives in Oklahoma and for those of you who don't know, you might be from outside of the United States, um, many of the people in Oklahoma are Native American, or at least we are mixed with white and Native American. Uh, many tribes were, were removed from their lands, and then they were moved to Indian Territory, which became the state of Oklahoma. Now, um... In my family, we do have people that work for the tribe, or they have their Indian blood card. But anyway, I have a grandma, or I did, she's now dead, who was obsessed with making sure we had, like, Native American stuff, as you can see here. She always gave us, like, dolls and Barbies and things that were Native American. Tons of books for kids about Native American culture, and you would hear similar stories. Now... My grandma has taken us to reservations and museums and all sorts of stuff that is like Indian heritage, everything. She was really gung-ho about us knowing um, Native traditions. Even when I got older and I spent time with her by myself, we would go to museums or movies or showings or whatever. But what I was going to say is that in Native American culture, it is a tribal culture, obviously, and... A lot of the stories you hear, they remind you of things in the Bible. Now, specifically the Cherokees, because that's more in line with what my family is. Uh, they're based out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. So I've spent some time there learning some traditions and history and things like that. But the Cherokees go back to the Carolinas and specifically the Katua Cherokees. And they have stories of giants and we would consider them Nephilim. And some of the words and the stories that they use to talk about God or stories about how a new star appeared in, t in the sky 2,000 years ago, which coincides with like, oh, the star of Bethlehem. Like God makes himself known to all peoples of the earth. And even though not all peoples worship God, all people have been given an opportunity to know who God is. And likewise, we haven't gotten to it yet, but we're going to talk about the Tower of Babel, which is when languages were created, where it wasn't just everybody speaks the same language. It's everybody speaks the same language, and now because of sin, because they want to be like God, God's going to disperse them and give them all a different language. But it's not like they forgot their history. So you'll see these same stories, even though the cultures are completely different. And one of those cultures is the Ute Indians. And the state of Utah is named after them. And I've been in Colorado, if you follow me on social media. And you saw a picture of this because I posted it. Now my aunt told me that there was... A random little park in Colorado that had a memorial to a Native American flood story. And what's interesting when I went and did some other history, some more searching, is that these characters had names like Nua or Noah. Uh, you had pairs of animals depending on the tribe that were on this canoe or this boat. Uh, you had uh, seven days of rest. You had serpents that were evil. You had uh, creatures that lived in the deep. These are things that coincide exactly with what the Bible says. And these came, these stories are much older than whatever happened before the Spaniards came to the Americas. And these stories are very similar to what is talked about in the Bible because. You know, we have one ancestor, which is Adam. We all come from him. We all come from Noah, if we even want to go like that. So we all have this shared history. So when we dispersed, you know, Pangea used to be one thing. When it dispersed, you know, we all took 
those stories that we knew, but, you know, some people retold them in different words, but then again, Satan has also twisted a lot of those words. So I'm just going to put up the video right now that I filmed in Colorado showing this one specific flood story and how it coincides with the Genesis flood. Today we are in Old Colorado City, Colorado, and I was told that there are some monuments to some Native American legends where they talked about having a global flood. So we are on the lookout for that today right now. So we are at Bancroft Park. Let's check it out. Long ago, the race of man had become greedy and warlike. The Great Spirit sent a flood to cleanse the planet of this evil. And as the water rose, the earth spirits, carrying maize and their worldly treasures, rushed to join their heavenly father. But when they began their ascent, they were told they must drop all earthly possessions. One by one, their treasures mounted until the great peak was formed. One Indian named Tiva and his maiden were still pure of heart and therefore were saved. They made a canoe of maize and floated on the flood for many days until they came to rest on the great peak. There they dedicated themselves and their newborn children to beginning a new race of men which would follow the path of nature and that of the great spirit. In the comments below, I, I would love for you to tell me if wherever you live or whatever culture you're from has their own flood stories and what they are. Tell me below in the comments. I would like you to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!